Hi everyone, I am GB Colleen and in this video we're going to have a look at the new Miniverse Series 2 Cafe Edition. So let's not waste any time and jump straight to it. Well that was short lived. I thought we have a perfect zipper there. So with the Diner Series you get a nice round white table to use but for this you're not getting that which is kind of sad but we're going to use this part of the capsule as our table. As usual you have the little instruction pamphlets and then the collector's guide. Let's check it real quick and see what's in this series. There are quite a few new and interesting miniatures but for the most part it seems like they're similar to the ones from Series 1. And just like with the Diner series, it seems like there's going to be a wave two of these. There are a few here that are just blank. And if you turn it around, it says that it's still cooking, which means they're still working on them, I guess. We got a little cup, which means this is going to be some sort of a drink. Here is our little bag of ice, and this time it's different. It's almost like it's little ice pellets or balls, because uh, in previous series there was just, you know, ice cubes. This is going to be very interesting. Unless this is not ice, but it does say on the package that it is, so we'll see. And here's our resin. It says Sunfizz Company Cherry Flavor. We got a pair of tweezers, a little spoon, and a straw. Oh, and then we have this little coaster, I guess, that says chill out. So we'll put it right here. And looking at the collector's guide, it seems like we got a cherry slushy, which explains why the ice doesn't come in cube form. So I think this one is going to be pretty easy. We have our cup over here. Let's open up this resin. Oh, okay. As opposed to the diner series, it seems like this one stays on or not. I almost made a big mess. Hey, at least I'm glad that they didn't stick it there really tight like it was with the previous series. They were a pain to remove. You had to get an X-Acto knife and, you know, all kinds of other tools. So we're just gonna pour some of this in. It's a little thick for a drink. Okay, I think that's good for now because the slushy has a, you know, slushy consistency so we can't have it be too runny but i'm gonna put this upside down because i'm gonna try to make that thing you know the slushy kind of like um has a little mountain of slush i guess at the top let's pour some of this ice in i guess as much as we can maybe it's too much i might have a hard time mixing it they say to mix it with a spoon but i don't want to get it you know all covered in resin, so I'm gonna use a toothpick. It does kind of turn into a slushy consistency. That's interesting. Okay, so here's how it looks so far. I'm thinking let's hit it with the UV light real quick to get this top layer hard, and then we can kind of mix a little bit more at the top to give it that, you know, nice little, um, I don't know, mountain peak, I guess you would call it a peak. All right, that should be good enough. Now let's add more resin. I did it again, didn't I? I forgot about the straw. Nothing to worry about though, I do have a trick up my sleeve. Let's just add a little bit more ice. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to create that effect I was telling you about. It would have been better if I mixed all this in a different container and then, you know, add it a little bit at a time, harden it with the UV light and add a little bit more and so on. So let's leave it there for a second. A little bit more ice just to the top part. And then here's what we're going to do with the straw. And then we just put it in. Since this layer is still not hardened, maybe a little bit more ice around it. Just thinking maybe we can kind of like stick this here so it's, you know, semi-open. I'm wondering, should I try a little bit more or just leave it as is? What do you guys think? Let me try a little something real quick. Maybe. If we put just a little bit over here, you know, just enough to stick a few pieces of ice there. And then we hit it with the UV light, shake off the excess, and I think that's about it. Except maybe remove these little pieces that are on the straw, they're not looking that great. Doesn't look great, doesn't look like in the pictures, but this is the best I got at this point. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. We got a little cupcake stand. That's really cute. Well, these are tiny. There are icing flowers, I'm guessing for decorating some cupcakes or something. So they're not cupcakes. They look like, um, I don't know, little square cakes. So this time we got some glaze. Oh, and let's not forget this little thing. Trust me, you don't know how much one of these helps unless you lose one. 
Mm, it seems like we didn't get any utensils, just the tweezers and that little thing that goes on the, you know, cloche thingy. We also have this mat that's probably going to be used to build the little cakes. It seems like this is what we're going to have to make. They're called Vanilla Petit Fours. I don't get it. Is it because it's four of them? Is it because of flowers? Why do they call them that? Why do they call them fours? I'm not sure, but let's start building, I guess. These are the cutest little things ever. Let's pull out a few of them. Well, I ended up pulling all of them out and let's separate them a little bit. Honestly, I think this will work better if we turn it like, no, never mind. Maybe we're just gonna put it here. So we're gonna separate them. I'm not sure if the glaze should go on this side or on the other side or if it doesn't even matter. Oh, it seems like it's alternating. It can go on either side. So let's do that. All right, so we got three with the pink top and then three with the vanilla top. Okay, I messed it up. All right, let's try that again. Uh, <laughs> look how beautiful and small these look. It seems like we have eight flowers, but only six little um, cakes. Let's get our glaze ready. I don't even know what to do with it, honestly. I'm just gonna let it run a little bit on the sides and then put the flower, or maybe I can use a toothpick in a bit to move it around. I don't wanna put too much. We can always add more if we need to, but we cannot really take anything back. I mean, we could, but it's gonna create a big mess. All right, let's see. Hopefully I'm not gonna get anything on my fingers. Honestly, I don't even know if this is how it should look. Maybe let's add a little bit more here. Because see, the resin and this top color are almost identical. I think that's kind of good. Let's get one of these flowers on. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab it with the tweezers. See, I did get some on my fingers. Well, I think that looks pretty good. We're gonna say it's a win. Now let's make the other ones. Okay, I think this should be a little easier now. I'm trying a different method here. Maybe this works better. Let's just put a flower in it and see how it looks like that. Uh, I guess. Okay, I think it looks pretty good, especially from this angle. <laughs> I'm gonna make all the other ones uh, off camera and then I'll see you on the other side. All right, they are all done and I'm quite proud of myself. I think they look pretty good. Now let's get that cake stand and, where is it a cupcake stand? Whatever it is. It looks pretty and it's golden as you can see, which is perfect. And let's start putting these on. I think it looks pretty cool. Only problem is we don't have enough because look on this side, it's kind of empty. So it just looks great from you know this one other side. The good thing about it is that if you get a double, then you can fill this up. Well, this is fancy. We have some macarons, although I'm guessing it's just a box. Yep, for now. What do we have here? This is so cool. Look at that. It's actually individual ones. So, I mean, individual ones. It's just, you know, the one sides. I guess we're going to have to make them. This is our resin or, you know, macaron filling. Look at this. We have a miniature spatula. I'm guessing to use and, you know, spread the resin on the macarons, but we're probably gonna use this little tool instead. It's gonna be a lot quicker and less messy, I think. So this is where we got the classic macarons. And then this is how we should do it. Spread some resin, put them together, and then pack them in a box. So let's get our little table set up. Oh, I really don't wanna ruin this, but what are you gonna do? It's part of the process. Oh, they're sliding. Oh, okay. There's two parts. So we got a tray and then here they are. They even have that little foot or whatever you call it, you know, when it raises a little bit. These look very, very realistic. All right, so we got one half here and then that's the other one. Let's see how the resin looks. Apparently it's vanilla. Looks a little bit more white than vanilla. Um, vanilla is a little bit more yellowish, right? This kind of looks white. It's almost like it's... Um, Oreo cream, not vanilla. Then you grab one of these. 
And a little bit of that vanilla cream. And technically, we should be able to just put this on and it will spread evenly everywhere. Kind of like, oh my God, this is gonna be really messy. I guess you kind of have to put it right in the middle because otherwise when you press it, you know, you're going to have more on one side and as you can see here, not enough on this other side, but there's really not much I can do about this one. So let's just make sure it's nice and set. See, it looks good from this angle, not as good on this other side. And I hate to say it, but I think their spatula will actually work better in this case because we can get a little bit at a time and put it all in the middle. All right, something like that. Trying different methods here and the tweezers are better because it really avoids getting them on my finger. I mean getting it the resin. All right and now just like in a bakery we're gonna try to you know just kind of like push it on. I know usually they put them on by you know they grab two halves and then they kind of like turn them as they press them together but these are way too tiny I cannot do that. It's kind of frustrating how it comes out on one side. Thing is, you know, with real macarons, you can actually control which side you press a little bit more because, you know, you hold them both in your hand and you do this and you press more or less on one side, but it's really difficult to do that with this. Yeah, this is, um, this is as good as it can get. <laughs> All right, here's the finished product. And if I will turn them all, you know, facing their good side towards us, you wouldn't be able to tell that they don't look that great. See, something like that. So we're gonna open the box and then we have this cute little, I don't know, parchment paper. Okay, something like that. That looks perfect. I think if we had one more, it would have been nice. Well, maybe it's also my fault. Maybe if I added a little bit more cream in the middle, they would have been taller. So then they would have filled this box, you know, perfectly. Okay, that's kind of like very tight fit. It's kind of tight. I don't know, maybe that paper, parchment paper, I should have pushed it in more, but either way, Here's our macarons. Don't they just look so realistic? All right, well, let's clean up and see what's in the next one. Oh, I almost hit our little cakes. Oh, okay, now we're talking. We got some alphabet pasta. Uh, I think you guys know where this is going. This looks so cool. Look what they use for the resin. A can of uh, tomato soup. This is very, very creative. And of course, we got our bowl. And I think in here we'll have a spoon. A, I was gonna say a golden spoon. It's actually a silver spoon. I wish it was a golden spoon. All right, let's get our table set over here. This is our bowl. This is the coolest thing, isn't it? Look at how small they are. Well, let's see if I can get them back in. Now let's open this resin, or sorry, um, can of tomato soup. You didn't expect that, did you? Ooh, we got quite a bit, which is good. In the previous series, they just didn't put enough resin. It was very, very frustrating. Would that be cool if we can put ABC on the spoon and, you know, freeze it in time over there? I think we can do it. It doesn't look that hard. So first, let's take ABC out of there. There's an A right there. Oh, there's a B. And we also need a C. There's one right over here. Now let's put some resin in here or tomato soup. See, I don't know if I should put more or if this is enough and then I should add more. Let's help them sink faster. I don't want to mix too much, you know, because then it will create a lot of bubbles and that will not look good. I'm just going to try to kind of like press them in. 
Okay, let's see how that looks. Good, pretty good, especially on this side. It's always one side that looks better, right? I was thinking of doing it in layers, but I, I don't I don't know if that's gonna make any difference. Alright, I think this looks absolutely great. So I wanna hurry and set it in place so that you know they don't sink even more. Uh, do you guys think it's too many letters or all right, looks pretty good. All right, now let's see if we can do that ABC thing. So here's the spoon. First, I think we should add a little bit of resin in there. Okay, that's enough. And now we're gonna add the letters. That was easier than I thought. Let's cure it in place first. Let's add a little bit more resin over here on the top. All right, I think that's good. It's very subtle. Um, I think I'm gonna put it on this side. I have an idea. Should probably raise it up a little bit, you know? We're gonna add one of these drops. Keep building on that until it's raised to the height that I want it to be. I'm gonna add a little bit of resin here. To be honest, it turned out a lot better than I expected. I mean, look, even from the back, that looks pretty realistic. It's just so cool how it says ABC. And honestly, out of all of them that I built today, this is my favorite. It just looks better and more realistic than the other ones. But I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say because we're gonna stop right here and we're gonna build some more in a future video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as usual, you guys stay golden. And I'll see you in the next video. Let's see if I have enough space to wave goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs>